I'm over here like, do we like it? Do I like it? Uh, kind of no. It's the way. curly crew welcome back to another video it's your good sis curly chris back up in this thing and today we're going to be doing a jumbo flexi rod set on this thick 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 natural hair okay and y'all i'm so excited to do today's video so before we go ahead and get into it if you are new to your girl's channel if this is your first time clicking on this channel or if you're returning and you have not subscribed yet I'm gonna need for you to do one thing for your goodness, okay? And that is to smash that button down below. Smash that button down below. And join the Curly Crew, because we would love to have you. <laughs> so y'all, my hair is freshly washed, and oh my God, my curls feel so, so good. If you have not seen my Revive Dry Natural Hair routine, it's actually a brand new routine I did for the first time using brand new products a variety of products at that. If you have not seen that video, it's the one right before this one. Go check that out. It's a bomb video to revive dry natural hair, y'all. And I use some natural ingredients. So anyway, in today's video, we are gonna be doing a jumbo flexi rod set. Now when I say jumbo, I'm talking the size of the sections, not the rods. The rods that I'm gonna be using are the purple and the gray ones. They're not the biggest flexi rods, but I'm gonna be doing them in the larger sections which means we will have more of a voluminous look than a small defined look. So we got a good amount of them here, but I'm not gonna be using all of these. And you guys really did enjoy my previous Flexi Ride Set video. So I was like, let me come on here and give y'all an updated routine. If y'all did also comment correctly on the previous video about what style I was doing in today's video, then to you okay so for my products i'm going i already applied the azwa beauty biomint leave in conditioning styler this bad boy is so so good y'all it has a tingle in it my scalp feels amazing it literally feels like my scalp is breathing air like it's breathing cool mint it's breathing peppermint it's breathing l toys and if you had an l toy you know what it does to the mouth <laughs> So that's what it's giving. And then for the styler, I'm going to be trying out the TGIN Rose Water Curl Defining Mousse. This is my first time ever trying out this mousse in particular. And honestly, I was a tad bit skeptical because I just don't, I don't know. I want hold, okay? And this one says medium hold, but I just never really tried out this line. So I'm not really sure about you know what I'm gonna get but we gonna see so in this whole section right here I'm gonna aim to only do four flexi rides oh I know sis I know like a part of me is like sis why are you doing this to yourself because that just means the drying time is going to take five ever so why are you doing this I just feel like being up for a challenge so here we are then I'm gonna take my all-natural glow brushy brush and just brush my hair on out. It's already detangled from in the shower. And I'm also going to be taking out a lot of the excess moisture because you know why. The drying time is going to take five ever. All right, now I'm gonna be going in with the rose water mousse. I'm gonna just do two pumps for this whole section. It feels very, very lightweight. Not gonna lie, it feels very lightweight. Let's see if it defines the curls in me. Hmm. I feel like it did do a little bit of clumping, you know, a little something something with the clumping. So now I'm gonna go in, do I wanna use purple or gray? I kinda wanna use purple, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use purple. Oh, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, quick tip, quick tip. If you want an elongated result with your Flexi Rise set, you need to braid at the roots. I think I'm gonna do that since I'm also doing jumbo I'm going to braid at the root so that way it can also dry quick. Girl, you just be thinking, don't you? Don't you? Okay, so I'm gonna braid really, really tight at the root so that way my roots do dry and also my roots do not shrink up. 
because that is something that your roots will do if they do not dry or even if they do dry they sometimes can shrink up a lot and once again i'm just getting off any excess product because that won't do anything but make the drying time longer so we're going to start by applying the rod to the ends smooth it on over make sure the ends are tucked and then go on up like this i'm also not going to do my fancy roll up like the twirl while you roll i'm just gonna do a regular regular roll up i don't like doing everything extra you know and boom all done <laughs> and i'm gonna just go in and wipe off some of that excess product just to make it the drying time a tad bit quicker this would be ideal for a horseshoe method huh also y'all i am wearing my night clothes right now because one thing about a flexi rod set whatever clothes you have on when you install these rods in your head that's the one you're gonna keep wearing until you take them out <laughs> so girl i said put on the pajamas put on the pajamas <laughs> all right so it's gonna be two rides so I'm going to go in with four pumps well kind of three total and apply this to both of these sections and do not neglect applying the product to your roots guys like that is super important because if you don't you will have dry frizzy poofy roots and that's just not cute all right detangle one good time split it into three sections and then braid at the root All right, I'm a, so I'm brushing through and I'm taking out any ex excess product that may be on my, on my hair. And when you roll it on the rod, smooth, 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 girl. If the ends are not smooth, your flexi rod will not come out the right way. So you want to smooth it and you want to tuck the end, okay? And bam and you want to make sure that you are folding the rod over the hair so you don't want to fold the rod this way like if you're talking about this one you don't want to fold it this way because it's going to unravel you want to fold the rod with the hair underneath that way you're keeping it in place Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help. As y'all can see, did my light go out? It sure did. My light over there went out. Ignore that, y'all. But everything's done. This mousse smells amazing. Love, love, love that smell. Mmm, smells great. Hopefully, it stays in my hair. Um, I really do like the mousse so far. I love the mousse and the leave-in combo. I feel like this is moisturizing. This is kind of lightweight slash medium weight. So they make a really, really good match, and no flaking either. So I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna sit underneath my hooded dryer for a little bit and I'm gonna come back once it's fully dry. And hopefully it's not more than two days. It was at this moment that he knew.
that he knew. It's me talking the whole time and my mic being turned off. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying y'all was, um, I did end up leaving this in my hair for two days. I know, two days. I said I did not want to do two days, but I didn't have a choice because I just didn't feel like it was dry yesterday, so I wanted to make sure it was dry. And I also sat underneath the dryer for a good amount of time as well. But this is what my hair is looking like. So I do feel like I took two of them down and they're looking really, really good. The bounce is there. It also seems to be dry. I do have some residue up here, but that is probably, well not probably, that is from overusing the product which is why I say to wipe off the excess, but it doesn't always happen that way, so it's, it's okay though. Ooh, look at that. Wow, that is so elongated, y'all. Like, look at how long. Okay, that almost looks weird. <laughs> so all of them are out, and y'all, this looks so weird. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, this looks so weird. I have not done a flexi rod set in such a long time, and my hair is also longer. So I'm just like, is that why it's looking weird? Like, I don't know. And I also didn't do, I did a different method. I didn't do my, like this. Well, it's hard to explain anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna start separating into smaller pieces. But as y'all can see, I do have some residue on these parts. So hopefully that comes off. And when separating, you wanna separate the three pieces since you did start off with the braid. But y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you, girl. I don't know about this one. I'm over here like, do we like it? Do I like it? Uh, kind of no, but we gonna see what it's working with. Like, hopefully it comes all together in the end. Cause I just don't know about it right now, sis. It is very much so stretched though. I can give it that. Like, braiding it at the root first most definitely helped with the elongation process. Cause look at how long my hair is without any heat stretching. So, so I'm gonna show you guys how I would separate my hair into smaller pieces. And then I'm gonna go off camera and do my whole head and come back with the final look. So what I would do is take a piece of hair that I've already separated out of the braid and then figure out which way my hair is curling, which it seems like it's curling towards the back. So I'm going to separate my hair into small pieces where it wants to naturally separate, curl towards the back, and then I'm gonna have smaller curls. The more that you separate, the more volume you're going to have. The less that you separate, the less volume and more definition you're going to have. Boom, that looks cute. I will say for sure this mousse is giving soft hold medium hold for sure so i'll be back with the final look okay maybe i just talked too much earlier because <laughs> baby she is giving, okay? She is giving. I hadn't even picked yet, y'all. This is just from me separating, and I feel like she is giving. So I'm gonna go and do my makeup. I get a little cute. And we're gonna see what these final results are hitting for. results like when I say I was speaking talking too much earlier that's exactly what I was doing because y'all these results are not disappointing like my curls feel so so moisturized it's funny because when I was taking them down earlier I actually was thinking like oh maybe I shouldn't have used the Ajwa like a leave-in that heavy because it kind of felt weighed down but y'all now that I've taken it out it feels perfect like my hair literally, the bounce on it is amazing. The fullness is amazing. The definition, the volume, everything hits. The moisture, like the moisture level of this Flexi Rod set is 
insane. And I'm still able to have that bomb definition as well. Also, I did not stretch my hair with heat whatsoever. I only used a pick. So listen, if you're trying to get an elongated rise set, I highly recommend that you braid your roots, okay? Because it works perfectly for me. So these are the final results. And y'all, it's literally like a 20 out of 10 for me. Like, I could not have loved it more. It could not be better. Like, I just feel like it literally hit on every expectation level that there is for me. It just looks so good. It feels amazing. Like, look at this definition, y'all. Look, like, look at these curls. Look at the ends. Everything is just, look at this. It's perfection, y'all. Like, wow. I am so, so shook. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this style. I want to hear from you. What would you rate this Flexi Rod set? And it's a jumbo Flexi Rod set at that. So I only did four rods per section and I still got bomb results. So let me know in the comments, what would you rate this Flexi Rod set on a scale of a one to 10? One being, eh, I ain't really feeling it. 10 being, oh girl, that is fire. Let me know in the comments. Also, make sure to join the Curly Chris fam by subscribing to this channel if you are new. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Peace.